So today, yeah, background's different. I'm in a different area. That's cool, right? So I'm actually, there's like a park across the road from my job. So that's where I am now. Um, and it's windy and my eyes are starting to water. But like, so yesterday, there wasn't like anybody in my office. So I was able to do the live in the office. But then everybody's back today. So I was just like, ugh, can't do it there. And like, I was going to do it like in the hallway where I've done it before. But it's just like, ugh, I just, ugh. I just don't like it over there. So I was like, you know what? Let's try the part. We'll see how this goes. I know, because I really can't see my screen all that well, just because of the lighting or whatever. But anyways, it's cool. So, um, let me tell you guys. So, it was great. So, I was going to go come on actually yesterday evening. It's like around 10 o'clock when I literally, my God showed me all this stuff, right? I was like, oh, let me tell the people. I got to tell them. I keep them updated what's going on. But then I was like, ah, well, it's kind of late. And then I would have to go downstairs, take out my laptop. You know, it's a whole process. So I was just like, you know, I can just save that for tomorrow. You know, it's cool. And it's so good that it's crazy that I did, though. So let me tell you. So, um, yeah, I was looking at my finance, like my financial statement for when, like, for how much I gave, like, through tithes and offering, tithes and offering at my church. I looked at it for um, 2018. I was like, okay, no bad, okay, it's cool, cool, cool. And so, cause yeah, I tithe, I give offering, all that, firm believer. So, and then I was like, okay, well, I was trying to figure out how much did I give last year. I'm really trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with as far as like taxes, cause you know, like apparently um, with the whole tax reform, like there's really no point of itemizing because of how like how much you would have to like have above like okay so there's like tiers i guess and like your um the items that you itemize i don't exactly know all the terms but like the amount would have to be like a whole bunch of, like it was, it was basically since they did the tax reform it's like way more than it used to be right so like in years previous it was beneficial for me to itemize all my stuff because like I would be above whatever threshold or whatever, and so then I would get you know more more back on the refund, and you know that comes from my tithe and offer and offering giving to charities, all that kind of stuff, right? And so, but the thing is, you no, know, now with the tax reform, it's like they make that they make the threshold like a lot more. I almost want to say for a single individual, it's almost like fifteen thousand dollars. Don't quote me on that, but I lucky remember like I feel like. Um, because I had someone do my taxes last year because it's really confusing because I live in one state and work in like another state. So like that's beyond what I can be. I'm able to do as far as taxes. And she was telling me that as far as next year, um, it might not be beneficial for me to itemize. But basically, I was really close, I guess, um, as far as from what I had from 2017. So she was just like, it may or may not be beneficial. Either way. So I was looking at, okay. How much did I, you know, give for 2017? Like, okay, just trying to see whether or not if I was going to go with the whole, um, go through all that, the whole tax process or, or not, basically, or just basically accept whatever it is they would got given me without me itemizing. And so I was looking at it, and it's crazy. So for my 2017 and looking at my 2018, they're like so close. Like, literally, I gave more to my church in 2018 than I did in 2017. And the crazy part about that is, is like, okay, um, for the majority of 2017, I was written. I didn't close on, some, I closed in my house, I closed on my house um, September of 2017. So January to then I was written. And so my rent is, was less than what my mortgage is now. Plus the fact that I have like HOA fees, like my, um, Utilities are more expensive now because, like, I didn't even have to pay for water. And not like water's not a big deal, but, like, literally, y'all know that my, um, I've been having leaks and stuff, so I've been having to pay, like, crazy high water bills. So it's, like, crazy. Like, all these things happened in 2018 where, like, my expenses, my expenses are so much more than what they were in 2017. But the thing is, though, I end up still being able to give, like, if I did the math, I almost must have gave, like, $100 more in 2018 than I did in 2017. It's crazy, right? And so like, the thing is, it's just like, um, the Bible says, you know, God gives seed to the sower. And like, if you have a heart to give, like God will give you the means to do it. And I just, it's crazy because like, literally there's the proof right there. Like, 
I should have like not been able to give as much because like the thing is, it's like my hair is doing fun things, but um, my bills are more expensive and like yeah, I got a raise in 2018, but like it was basically after taxes and all that stuff, um, like forty dollars more a month, which is cool. Like I every little bit, like I'm like yeah, awesome, right? But just the fact that okay, so yeah, I got four dollars more, but literally. Like, my bills are way more than that. Like, I even, like, in 2018, joined a different gym. And that gym is more expensive than the gym I was going to in 2017. So, it's just, it's crazy, though. But, like, the thing is, it's like, I know so many people who, like, are just hear things like, oh, like, like they have reasons why they won't give, why they won't so, why they don't pay their tithes. And, like, a lot of it, like, like, everybody has, you know, what they say. But, like, the root of it is, like, you just don't trust God. Like, you, that's honestly the root of it. Like, if you literally trust God, if you're literally, literally giving God, like, your last, well, actually, you, you should give God your first, and then he'll make sure everything else after that is straight, really, honestly. So if you're making those sacrifices where you know that, like, you don't, wouldn't have enough, like, to give, like, pay your tithes and your bills and all that kind of stuff, like, do it. And then watch God work a miracle. Because, like, literally, my bills, like, I'll still be able. I'll still able to give the, not only the same amount but more than I gave last year, just because of the fact, like, just because God gave it to. Me. Like, I don't. I can't even tell you exactly where that money came from because, like, forty dollars a month is nothing when I got paid. You know, one hundred and five, one hundred four dollars in HOAs. Like, literally, that's it right there. And I didn't have an HOA fee um, in twenty seventeen when I was written. So it's just like you know, trust God. I don't know. I just want to encourage you guys to really trust God. Trust God with your finances. Like, God can do more with that 10% than you can do with the uh, 90%. So, like, literally, like, trust God. And, you know, it's crazy because, like, the last couple of videos, well, the one's all about, like, um, financial provision, talking about how I was just trusting God and how this whole situation with my plumbing or whatever and how it's been really, like, expensive for that and stuff, but me just trusting God that, you know, that he's, pro he's provided for me in the past financially and just to keep trusting him and it's crazy right so like the time of this there's like i don't believe in coincidences i talked about this in my like hearing from god or hearing god's voice or something like that video but like once you stop believing coincidences coincidence you really can see god's hand on your life and god moving in your situations so like i don't believe in coincidence and so it's crazy right i was just like an hour or so ago uh, i just had the idea to like look at my budget so i've been trying to budget more and, you know, I actually, like, because I'm really good at making plans for, like, a budget or anything. But I'm not necessarily great at, like, keeping to it or whatever and stuff. Or even going back to check to make sure I'm still on track or whatever. So, like, something told me, you know what, just something. When they say something, tell them, it was God, Holy Spirit, all that. But anyway, it told me to go, you know, look for my budget and, you know, just make sure. And so, having, like, an Excel sheet. And I went to it and I was like, okay, I see this. And I saw for November and December. Now, I know before December was over, I had already created my January budget, the exact numbers of like how much my bills were going to cost and all that stuff. I know I did this. I know it's for a fact that I did this. Could not find that unsaved document at all. Looked up how you get like uncovered, like the unsaved, you know, because like sometimes it'll be like a little box on the side where it's like they um, recovered an uh, unsaved thing. Like, look there, couldn't find it, couldn't find, could not find that other copy, like the most recent copy of that budget. I'm like, okay, that's lame. <laughs> but I was like, it's not a big deal. I'll just, you know, redo the budget. Or like, yeah, copy the last December and, you know, create a budget for January or whatever. And so like, I'm going through the budget and going through all the items. And like, I literally like went through like, okay, I went through my bank statements. Like, okay, what have I already paid? I went through like my bills like online just to see like how much the bills will cost and those due dates were to make sure they because like most of my bills well everything I have is like split up into like two so like I get paid twice so I got most of my bills are on the first half of the check my first check and then like there's like other stuff that's like on the second half the second half kind of those like basically monies that I live off of like you know just like groceries gas that kind of stuff but like the first check I split off where most of my bills get paid during that time. Except for like, I think it's like either my water bill or my electric bill. It just moves around. I don't really get that, but whatever. Fine.
it's a thing. And so I just was going through, and then I was looking at the numbers, like, ooh, yikes, this is low-key tight, like, for real. And so, but the thing was, it's like, God literally just showed me last night that, look, I provide, I helped you financially. I provide for you financially. Like, so I wasn't even able to, like, be upset or be worried or be, like, concerned, like, panic. There was no time for that because, like, I already knew that, you know, God is faithful and God has proven himself to be, like, my provider particularly when it comes to my finances. So it's just like, I don't even have to worry. It's like, it wasn't even the thought of worrying didn't even cross my mind. I'm like, well, God's going to, you know, make a way or something's going to happen. I don't know what, but like, I already know everything's going to be straight, right? And it's crazy because um, a couple of days ago, um, God kind of told me to like give a seed, like to plant a seed, like a financial seed. So like give, you know, money. And it's a pretty substantial like amount of money. And like literally looking at my savings account, I don't got it. Like I just don't have it. And like looking at even so I get like reimbursements for like my travel, because we drive a lot for my for my job. Even looking at the ones that are like on the way, it's like, yeah, that still don't equal that. So like I don't know exactly how am I supposed to be able to pay this guy. Like, I don't know, but I know for a fact that he told me to sell and to sell this very specific amount. And so the thing is, is like, look, looking at my uh, budget page, it's like, bro, I can barely pay my bills and eat and you know, but it's like, I'm not worried because if God told me to sell this amount of money, that means he's gonna provide, you know, the money for me to sell because I literally don't have it no other way. Like, ain't no other money. So like where I'm supposed to get money to sell, you know? But that means God is really about to bless me financially. And so I am really excited about that. I'm excited to see how that happens. Because that's literally, um, I think coming up like February, March. So it's not like it's that much time to me for me to really be like, oh, I can just say put stuff aside because it's like, look, my bills like that's about it. That's all we got right now, you know, as far as how much I have. So like me being able to see that though is really awesome. So now I'm like waiting for a blessing. I'm waiting for this like miracle that's going to happen. And so as it happens, I'm going to let y'all know because I'm, like, really excited because this is, like, one of the things, like, man, I hear about, you know, people getting blessed financially, like, crazy amounts of money, but amounts of money, but it's just, like, it hasn't really, I haven't got, like, no one has ever, like, dropped, like, a big old, like, goose egg of, like, a whole bunch of money to me. So I feel like that's going to happen. And so I'm excited. So, yeah. I'll tell you guys about it. I'll keep y'all updated on that. Um, Another update, the whole, you know, the whole financial uh, provision videos and, like, testimonies I was talking about. But with the whole climate issues, that's still really going well. Like, God has been faithful. Like, so um, I ended up having to get um, the toilet fixed again for whatever reason. Like, I don't really know why. I can't tell you what happened, but it was broke and it was still leaking. So I was like, at first I was like annoyed because it was just like, wow, I got, I had to spend seventy five dollars just to get that fixed, and now I have to pay another seventy five dollars for them to fix it again. But then it was just a thing where they was like, you know what, you don't have to pay the seventy five dollars. We'll come out, we'll fix it. Didn't have to pay anything. So that's been awesome. So I don't know. Just look for God to like look how God can possibly bless you. Like in different situations, just look out for it. Like you'll be amazed how like God has really helped, like has is helping you like financially or any like type of way. You just have to be like more conscious of it, you know. So yeah, that's all I got for now. I'm about to go, I guess, back to the office because I've been out here for kind of a while now. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.